Hello there. So, as you can see, my complexion is on. I still have some bake baking. Um, I have one eye on. Um, the palette that I'm doing today is the Chanel Road Movie number 288. Beautiful teal colors. I like it because it looks very intimidating but it's not so i did a very kind of subtle look actually looking at it right now i'm like i could amp this guy up but i'm not going to so i thought that i would do one eye then i would kind of show you how i'm doing the other eye look at this this is this is real life all right so if you want to see how i did this then keep on watching <laughs> that's my editing all right so <laughs> All right, I, you know, I feel like sometimes I do this and I'm like, girl, you need some lip balm. All right, so using our DR Lip Maximizer. There we go. All right, so I'm using my Smith 256 brush and I'm going into this bronzy shade. And that's my cat opening cabinets. I'm already primed the Chanel primer and I'm just going all over the lid. Oh, oh, Otis. He's so bad. But so cute. All right, so all over the lid. Then I'm going to actually recreate the steps that I did. So even if you make a weird mistake, just keep it rolling, balance it out. So I'm using this kind of taupey shade with just a generic ColourPop brush that has no number, it just says China. This one I started to do in my crease and I was like, oh look, nothing. So, done. Now I'm going to just go in with my Smith 247 brush and I'm going into this shimmery teal. And I did three dabs, but that's way too much. So I, da, 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 that was my natural reaction, but in initiality, I literally did one dab. And I'm just going to always start on the outer corner of the lid and just building up that color right here. As you can see, there's a lot of pigment and you want this to be a slower build. So just doing a little bit here and then I'm just literally dusting a little bit of my crease, but I'm almost holding my brush downwards when I'm doing it because I don't want it to go too high. So I'm just doing a little bit up here not pulling it far in like about three quarters but it's such a light amount up here so just a little bit up here just want to make sure we're focused hello so just a little bit up here but it's all on the outer corner i need to tilt my mirror i apologize nope it was better before <laughs> So because I did three dabs, this is actually happening pretty quickly. So before I like did it as a slow build. So I'm just kind of packing it on. Yeah, this color is so pretty. And this is one of those palettes that people look at and they're just like, oh no, I could never do that. You could absolutely do this color. It's just about kind of trying it out and being a little brave. So I'm doing one more dab, just like boop. And I like to kind of pat it on my hand just to make sure that I don't get too much. Like that was just one more dab and it's like, oh, I think we're there. It's a little bit up there. Done. So now I'm taking from the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill, the JH, oh man, I'm blind, 40 brush, the teeny tiny. And I'm doing this little dark teal, just like one dab again. And just doing the very outermost corner of my eyelid, just to add that depth. And then just going right on the lash line, which is right outermost corner, kind of stepping back. And that's, that's it, literally. So now I'm going to, you're gonna laugh, Take my NARS Wanted palette, taking Shadow Hill with this Sephora, just like a little bit, Sephora blending brush, number 27, tapping that off. I wanna add a little warmth to my crease. So I'm just kinda taking that, blending that, just adds that little bit of warmth that looks really pretty. Gonna add a little more 
there. Um, that's it. All I have to do is just underneath the eye. So I'm taking another Jaclyn pill and Morphe JH42. It's like this teeny tiny, teeny tiny little guy. And I'm starting off with this shimmery teal. And I'm just doing outer corner, building that up. Sorry. And then same brush, dipping in that bronze and just kind of going over it a little, but then going in her corner, building up that bronze. Otis, you are not allowed up here. Nope. Oh. And you're going, oh no. I'm gonna make I swear, he never does that. And just doing that bronze color. This is real life, people. Just making sure it matches, going over. Feel like I'm gonna just check in my handy dandy witch mirror. Someone saw this mirror and they were like, You look like a, was it a fairy princess or a witch? I don't remember. So that is that. I'm gonna curl my lashes with my Syrah curler, which is the best. Sorry. All right, now I'm gonna use my Ilia mascara. It is also the best. Oh, see, that was so easy. I mean, yes, I had to use a shadow from a different palette, but that's just personal preference. I like that warmth in my crease, but you could use that taupey shade if you're not my complexion. So yeah, go for it. <laughs> Do it. Also, now would be a good time if you wear false lashes to apply false lashes. Did I get that on my eye? No, thank goodness. All right. It's so funny, I'm getting texts right now that I'm obviously ignoring from my mom and my brother and sister-in-law. And clearly I'm missing a really good picture of my nephew. And now I'm just doing a light coat of mascara on the bottom. Nice. So that is my eye look. I just wanted it to be very clean, but still, I'm just adding a tiny bit right up here. There we go. Where? Where? Um, clean, but still colorful. So just to show you guys, I mean, this is the way that we get gratis at Chanel. Um, <clears throat> but this is a wearable palette. Like you don't have to look at it and be like, oh no, I'm never gonna wear those colors. It's not so crazy. So now, I'm oh, gonna dust off any bake. And zero fallout. Ah. You just have to do less is more on your palette, on your palette, on your brush. All right, so now, I just cleaned my brushes, it's so nice. Now I'm going to contour with my uh, Sephora Angled Blush Brush. You know all this. I hate my phone. This is the Stone Street. I just kind of flick it up a little bit, build it up in the outer hollow, as opposed to the inner hollow. <sighs> in the hollow of my cheeks. <laughs> oh, have you guys seen that show Norsemen? It's so funny. I watch it with my boyfriend. Um, it's hilarious. Hilarious. Um, it seems like it would be just one of those, like, not cavemen shows. Um, one of those shows that are just kind of like... I can't think of the word. I can't think of the word. Um, this was a bad topic to talk about. If you can't think of the word. Um, basically, it's about these like, oh, they're not cavemen. They're people who like rape and pillage, you know, those people. Oh, 
whatever. It's a good show. Watch the show. It's it's a it's a comedy. <laughs> Rape and pillage is funny. <sighs> anyway, well that was bad. I do not think rape is funny by any means. <laughs> Disclaimer. All right, so we are using my Dior, uh, Dior Skin Mineral Nude Bronzer at number six. I'm gonna think of this. Uh, I wish I could text my boyfriend right now and be like, can you save me from this moment? Um, They're not cavemen. What are they called? Why am I holding my brush like a caveman? <laughs> All right, um, oh my God, what are they called? I can't get this out of my head. As you can see, I am wearing a bra, which is a big accomplishment for me. All right, um, but my nightgown is falling all over the place. I love clean brushes. That was my Sephora, it came from a set, the powder brush, that's what I use for my all over kind of warmth bronzer. Now I'm using for my blush, the Smith 154. <sighs> so good. Um, because I'm wearing more of a dramatic eye, I'd like something a little bit more bronzy. Um, even though I say it's dramatic, but it's dramatic for me um, because I don't wear a lot of color, even though I might wear a plum lip today. So again, I might do more of a bronzy blush. Um, yeah, I love how my boobs are just hanging out. Today we're gonna do a tutorial about boobs. I'm gonna do Alizane. Am I? I feel like I've really worn out that blush. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. Evening beige. Beige. Um, oh my God, I can't think of what they are. It's gonna kill me. Yeah, I'm gonna do evening beige. Mm, so pretty. Um, this is gonna kill me. I don't wanna die. <laughs> okay, whatever, it's a good show. So, I like my makeup today. Um, and I also like this blush because you can use it on the forehead and it just gives this nice glow. Uh -huh. All right. Oh, it's gonna kill me. All right, so I have a video that I have planned that I'm really excited to do because I got a few new products and I really wanna show them, but until then, this is the Tom Ford, woo, in focus. Tom Ford, this is the duo highlighter, the sheer highlighting duo in Reflex Guilt. I have just been into this again. It's just not too crazy, and I just go into both colors. And I just do a teeny tiny bit on the top. It just has the nicest pop, and I have texture. So I'm like, I can't do a lot. People can go a little crazy. I cannot. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm actually going to do a little on my brow bone. Why not? Yeah. Focus. Hello. All right, so, yeah, I think this is a good makeup day. All I have to do is lips and we done. So, for lips, yeah, I think I wanna do something plummy. Um, mm, but I don't wanna give away some stuff. So, I'm going to do my normal, hmm, what are you? Did I do you? No, I did you. Yeah, let's do you. Um, let's do, yeah, screw it. Sorry guys, I'm going to be using a lip pencil that is discontinued, but it is my absolute favorite. So I'm just gonna kind of wipe off that. This is the Givenchy. This is the older formula that they don't make anymore. It's the number nine. Um, it is my absolute favorite nude lip pencil. And I think I am using my backup of this. <sighs> it kills me. Why? I get it. We all preach about this. All right.
It's just such a good long wearing formula. Okay. I really overdrew this side. But apparently, I say this every time, apparently my lips are uneven. So I have to overdraw this side and keep this side pretty normal. But I think I really overdid it. I don't know. I can never tell because it looks normal to me. All right, and this is the Bobbi Brown Brown Lipstick. Uh-huh. I think you're fine. <laughs> yeah, she's cute. I'll do a deep color when I'm at work. When I overdraw my lips, I feel like it's just not my thing. I'm like, who? who? All right, and more is more. So I'm going to do a little bit of the Pat McGrath Labs Flesh Fantasy Lip Gloss. Because more is more. I love this gloss. So pretty. And more is more. No, actually, I like this one. This is, ooh, sorry, the Chanel Hydra Beauty Essence Mist. Just don't ruin my hair. Uh, smells like clouds and heaven. Will you please? Sorry for the noise. You see that little droplet? You need to dry. Can you please dry? That's not good. That's not good. Never noticed that before. All right, so thanks for watching my 17 minute long video about my eye makeup and my complexion and me fanning myself like a princess. Um, hmm, I've never noticed that before. I think I was scared to ruin my hair. <laughs> it's my boobies. All right, so please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if you liked it and hit the notification bell and please leave a comment. I love the comments so much. Um, and I hope to see you in my next video. And if there's anything you guys wanna see, please leave a comment so that I know what really tickles your fancy. All right, I need to get to work. I'm gonna be there late. All right, have a great day and I will see you in my next video.